setting up the polling station. It's the day of the poll. Ravi and his team, along with the security staff attached to them, had reached the polling station a day before. All poll personnel are required to be settled in their polling stations well in advance of and at least two hours before commencement of polls. Preferably, they should reach their polling station a day before and stay overnight. Transport arrangements are made accordingly. Do not open the EVM, which is to be operated only before the scheduled hour. If any polling officer is absent, the PRO has the authority to appoint anyone of his choice to take his place and inform the district election officer. The person should not be an active worker for any candidate. Inspect the polling station. It should be ensured without fail that the voting process is transparent and the secrecy of voting is not violated. If necessary, make the modifications to ensure there is enough space for voters to wait. There are separate waiting areas for men and women. There are separate entrance and exit for voters. If there is one door, Use bamboo dividers in the middle of the doorway. Make sure that the polling station is sufficiently lighted. Make sure that there is an easy flow of voters from entry to exit. The polling agents should be seated in a way that they could see the entire operation, the entire movement of the elector. But while doing this, ensure that they cannot see the actual recording of votes by the voter. The voting compartment should be placed away from the window or door to maintain secrecy. The voting compartment should be made preferably out of flex board and of the dimension 23 inches by 23 inches by 23 inches. However, voting compartments made of cardboard if available since before in good condition may also be used. The voting compartment should be at a sufficient distance from the table where the control unit shall be kept. The cable connecting the BU to the CU should not obstruct the movement of the voters, but the entire length of the cable should be visible. In case it's a simultaneous voting for assembly as well as parliamentary elections, separate EVMs need to be kept in separate voting compartments clearly marked with bold letters. A typical layout for a single election could be like this. The poll team removes photos of political leaders or symbols of any political party or slogans till the polls are over. Also, no cooking or lighting of fire is allowed in the polling station. Only a candle may be lighted when required for sealing poll material or EVM. Arrangements for proper illumination, however, must be ensured. Ravi personally displays the mandatory notices or signboards outside the polling station. A notice specifying the polling area and the particulars of electors. A copy of the list of contesting candidates as in Form 7A. Also, attach their election symbols. Basic Minimum Facilities The Basic Minimum Facilities or BMF to be provided at each polling station are Provision of ramp Provision of drinking water Adequate furniture Proper lighting Help desk Proper signage, toilet, shade for voters in queue. Who can enter the polling station? The presiding officer can allow only the following persons into the polling station. The electors, polling officers, each contesting candidate, one election agent or polling agent of each candidate at a time. Persons authorized by the Election Commission to enter the polling station with authority letters. Public servants on duty. Child in arms accompanying an elector. 
A person accompanying a blind or an infirm voter who cannot move or vote without help. Such are the persons for the purpose of identifying voters or assisting the elector in taking the poll. Police and security personnel cannot enter unless called by the PRO.